Hey everybody, it's Team Eugene and the Tree Thinking Podcast. Um, I'm Jamie Schlittenard. I have Becca Snowdale, Corey Shields, and Andrew Marin. With me today, our last video, we had just received the Fusion Tether from Tree Stuff and we did some first impressions and a little climb on it. Today, we've all been in the field with it for maybe two weeks now, so it's just kind of an update on things we've noticed about the tether. One thing I've noticed uh, personally is the attachment point here for my chest tether. When I'm up in the tree and I go to take it off, I, I feel like I kind of got to fight it a little bit because it's really rigid. I prefer uh, the, the loop on my fixed tether. So simple fix, I just tied a little loop of throw line right at that uh, attachment point. Um, the tether, the stiff tether is really nice, you know, keeps it going up the rope really good. Um, I noticed I usually climb on a Rocco carabiner and I just wanted to try something else. So I had this DMM D-shaped one and when I put a carabiner on, I like to rotate it all the way around. It's just much more of a fight, like I can't even do it with this one, than uh, on my hitch climber. Um, but I still do like how smooth it is. I like, you know, the handle, I like how the pulley's built in, the spring. It does function really well. Those are just a couple things I noticed. I'm gonna go one more thing. Um, a plus is that attachment point there. If I'm in a tree and I want to do a little traverse with say my captain hook or something. It's a really nice spot to attach and kind of move yourself around the tree. Tried it out with various lengths of Prexic and various shapes and styles of carabiner. And I also noticed that, that uh, the, the D shape and the pear shape both don't really necessarily lend themselves as easily to finagle it so that the lock is on the bottom. So uh, the oval shape is definitely best. Um, I found that the length of the press egg doesn't make too much of a difference. I started, when I started climbing using um, wrenches and press eggs and things, I got a really long one and it actually works really well with this. So that's kind of a plus, but a shorter one suits it just as well. So those are the two things that I've noticed. And I'm uh, so I'll just first, I guess I'll start off with the positives. Um, I do like how, how it tends. I like how stiff it is. I like that, that uh, attachment point. I like that it's all attached again as we kind of echoed in that first video um, you know transferring it within the tree is really really easy you can clip it to yourself and then just kind of let it all kind of uh, come off the rope and you're not worried about losing a, a pulley or a part of the system at all um, as far as gripes I do have a few of them um, the first one being um, with my climbing system I like to attach my knee ascender as I had mentioned in that, that initial uh, thoughts I like to attach my knee ascender uh, what would be right about here um, on like a, a hitch uh, climber pulley. Um, it would be nice if it had just like a half becket or even just like a little loop, not life rated or anything like that right here. Uh, so that you're not like running up through your carabiner or running up through your bridge to try to connect it to that point. Uh, that's just my one of my uh, few gripes. The other one, which is a little bit more serious is that with the soft tethers, there's not actually any wear points on it between the rope wrench and the tether itself. On this, when you get down to that stop right there, it'll, it's actually, um, we'll get a close up view of it um, a little bit later, but you can see that there's a little bit of uh, paint coming off on this. And I imagine with prolonged use, you know, this has only been a week or two, with prolonged use that might wear into that rope wrench and eventually wear it out. Uh, you know, a, kind of a design fix that I could see with that is plugging in like a little piece of rubber or something, like a rubberized stop to stop that from, from happening. Uh, but I could see it wearing both the, the tether itself away and then the rope wrench itself. And um, one other thing I like about it, um, you can use it as a, uh, a choker system. So I used this on a spar pole uh, a couple weeks ago. And uh, it's not as efficient as some other systems, but just like any other rope wrench, it does allow you to get pretty close to it and uh, you know, kind of make those cuts in a choker uh, set up on a spar pole. So what I wanted to test out on this is uh, to see how a stiff tether would work going weaving up and down through fir branches. I, I did a fir that had a ton of branches on it and I purposefully kind of weaved my line through it which was a total pain in the butt. Uh, not the most efficient route but I kind of wanted to see how this manipulated through a canopy. Uh, it worked great. It uh, Because when I was climbing on it, uh, when, I, when I was kind of walking up through it, it sagged down low enough so I had to make way for myself to get through and so this just kind of followed me right up the rope nice. and 
Uh, and then when I came back down, uh, I was worried that it, you know, get caught sideways on branches or something. And I just didn't have any of that. So I was pretty stoked with the way that worked out. Um, the other thing I was doing is, uh, I was doing a removal at one point, And so I would take the, uh, unclip the other end as I work my way up and I would throw it over a branch and then I could kind of clip it into this attachment point and it, it was still on my bridge. And so it, it was a way to use it. Not, I mean, I guess technically I was double rope and I was using it more as a positioning lanyard at the time. Uh, but that was kind of a nice feature to have this year so that it wasn't, you know, another place on my bridge or off on the side. It was able to just be right all part of the same uh, setup. Uh, I really liked it. It was smooth. It kind of, it was what it, I thought it would be for the most part. There wasn't a whole lot of surprises climbing on it. That was my experience in the last couple of weeks. Well, I have one more thing to add. Yeah. I remember we were kind of concerned that the stop here wouldn't allow you to collapse the whole system, mm -hmm. but that's not an issue at all. I, I saw some comments online of people worried about that. Yeah. We had the same concerns, but yeah, if you're out and you need to pull a bunch of slack, you can simply do that with one hand. That's a, that's super cool. Yeah. Should we do some, set them up and do some climbing? Yeah, let's do yeah. it. Okay. Let's do it. All right, so when installing it, I've been uh, getting this thing on first, especially in your, if you're up in the tree doing a transfer. Once that's on, your whole thing's contained right there. You know, you just have to get this fully closed in, tie your hitch. and then it's ready to go. Um, it, one of the features that I like about this is how easy it is and everything's all connected in one piece, so. That was a fast setup. Yeah, well it's fast with this thing. You know, it, uh, it just kind of comes together. <laughs> finished a climb in these big beautiful Oregon white oaks. I noticed uh, my hitch combination matters a little a little more. I have to tweak it because I usually climb with the hitch climber eccentric and it's got a really slim profile so it helps break that that hitch whereas this one with the newt I believe is what this is it will get sucked in there and I'd get up in the tree and just be fighting to tend my hitch. But I switched to a VT and, you know, problem solved. It's just tinkering with your knot. Uh, again, I really want to point out that it's almost exclusively oval carabiner friendly for the attachment. Um, just, it's like, and even then it's kind of a little challenging to swivel it, to orient it how you want. But that's not necessarily a deal breaker. Um, and then just, kind of same as what Jamie just said it takes there's a lot, lot more dialing in but once you get that sweet point it, it really sings yeah it's just like a new piece of gear right? exactly just, just like with anything else um, still really love this I found myself you know holding on to this um, I use the fix uh, and this intermittently the last couple of weeks and I found myself like grabbing the fix for the this little like <laughs> nice little handle here so that's kind of cool it's already a popular thing for me just something to consider like the most carabiners will fit through this bottom attachment point but not the top one so something yeah. to consider i i was like oh, what the heck um just because i was trying to attach my lanyard to it today i was mainly focusing on kind of limb walking with these beautiful white oaks they have these big sprawling limbs so i was trying to run out to the end and then come back and kind of feel how it worked uh, I was climbing on the VT, it, it, I didn't really have too much problem pulling the slack. Yeah. Um, one of the things that I've, you know, and this could be just getting used to being on the rope wrench again. I've been, up until we started trying these out, I've been doing a lot of, of the Rope Runner Pro. Um, so it's kind of been getting used to making sure the right prusik is in to catch it, you know, and how many wraps and all that stuff. Yeah. And so I've found myself kind of focusing on that and thinking about that a little bit. I don't know that that's... Uh, tether related but you know just kind of one of the things i was thinking about while i was climbing up there and getting set up uh but i've been enjoying it you know 
I mean, all the things you guys were saying as far as, you know, the carabiner turning and notice all that stuff as well. Um, but that was, that was kind of my take on it. Yeah, the only thing I'd reiterate, I mean, yeah, it's been a, a pretty neat piece, piece of kit, but again, that those two wear points is something I'm gonna keep a pretty close eye on. You know, the wear point up top where that stop is and the wear point down below on the, uh, the rope wrench itself. Uh, just a little concerned about that. Uh, if it makes me retire a rope wrench prematurely, you know, that, that would definitely be a deal breaker for me anyway. Uh, not necessarily, um, not necessarily something that would like completely disqualify it for anybody else. But for me, you know, if I'm, I'm wearing through rope wrenches quickly, that, that might not be something that I'd be interested in. But, um, yeah, so far still impressed with it. You know, it tends really nicely. It works really nicely. Did some limb walks and some, uh, some traverses and stuff with it. It's, it's a pretty good piece of gear. All right. Well, we'll check in again soon. Again, thanks tree stuff. Yeah. Uh, this has been fun. It's uh, cool to test out a new gear, uh, piece of gear. Heck yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And learn the ins and outs of it. New sure. What we find fun. out. So yeah. we'll see you soon.